everyone and a welcome in. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course the like. Let's go ahead and look a little closer into Susan Morphew and the business and the husband. All right, let's get right into this updated article. Investigators search husband's job site near Salida. This is starting to sound like a Patrick Frazee story. A residential construction site is now the focus of the search for Suzanne Morphew, a Colorado woman who was reported missing from her Chaffee County home on Mother's Day. The property owner confirmed to CBS4's Rick Salinger that Suzanne's husband was hired to lay dirt on the riverfront land located east of Salida. The FBI, CBI, and Chaffee County Sheriff's Office sifted through dirt Friday looking for any sign of the missing mother. Investigators say the search was initiated based on information developed during the Susan Morphew missing person case. FBI agents could be seen with buckets sifting through the material. An evidence response team truck was parked nearby. Investigators said Friday the property owner is fully cooperating with law enforcement and is not connected with the disappearance of Miss Morphew. And again, it's spelled M.S. Morphew. The search will resume Saturday morning. Investigators said Friday night Susan had not been found and no arrest had been made. It's, our, it's been nearly two weeks since Morphew 49 was reported missing after going on a bicycle ride, a supposed bicycle ride. As Friday's search by the banks of the Arkansas River was being conducted, authorities were tight-lipped, declining to answer questions. Ray Kitson has a daughter who lives nearby and has served the Morphew family at his restaurant. It's been crazy all along. We've been hearing about it and also supported people going out trying to find her. He told CBS4's Rick Salinger, Morpheus' husband was in Denver, her family says, and a neighbor reported her missing when she didn't return from a bike ride. Morpheus' bicycle was recovered, but investigators have not said anything about its condition. The house continues to be held by law enforcement during this open investigation through a search warrant that has been sealed by the court, the sheriff's office stated this week. Chaffee County Sheriff John Spezzi stated that it's not unusual in these types of investigations to start at the home and extend outward to see clues surrounding the disappearance. The Morpheus resident is just one of many areas of focus as part of this investigation at this time. Other searches have taken place in a reservoir in an area around County Road 225 and 50 and the Monarch Spear RV Park which is owned by Fred Porter and located near the Morphew home. It's suspicious to me. I don't know. I don't know I guess what happened nor does anyone else. Hopefully they will find her alive said Porter. Susan's husband Barry issued an emotional plea for her return offering to do whatever it takes. Please, we'll do whatever it takes to get you back, Morphew stated in the video. We love you and miss you and the girls and need you. As of Wednesday, May 20th, investigators had received approximately 200 tips reported to the designated phone line for information about Suzanne's disappearance. Morphew's husband posted 100000 dollar reward for information that was doubled by a family friend to 200,000. The Chaffee County Sheriff's Office, the CBI, and the FBI are searching for Suzanne. The investigators created a dedicated tip line. I will drop the number in the description. And then despite rumors circulating online, the Chaffee County Sheriff's Office confirmed Friday afternoon 
that Suzanne Morphew, a missing woman from the county, has not been located and there have been no arrests in connection to her disappearance. The Chaffee County Sheriff made this announcement at 5.08 p.m., specifically confirming that in response to widespread rumors, Suzanne Morphew hadn't been found. So they're basically saying to stop the rumors. But today is a new day and it looks like they are definitely looking in some areas where they think are a little suspicious. My question is, if you have a GoFundMe, and here it is for Susan Morphew, 31,462 was raised out of 50,000. My question, if you laid out a hundred thousand dollars within a few days of your wife going missing and then your friend laid out another hundred thousand, why is there a GoFundMe for fifty thousand? That's very confusing to me. So this is the GoFundMe. I am going to attach the link below in my description if anyone wants to donate. But I have a feeling that police know something and after you listen to the recording from yesterday I have a gut feeling that we will probably see a press conference that is why I want to get this video out and hear what your guys comments are and what you're thinking happened to poor Susan Amorphio and her poor kids I can't even imagine but let's go see if we can figure out who these two little sidekicks are all right all right so here is where susan was supposedly last seen riding her bike the property that they are searching is 15.8 miles roughly to van Dever road and county road 50. and we'll zoom in in there and take a look in a second but it's definitely straight into this area I mean do you really think that he is dumb enough to put her in an area where he was working but then again look what Chris Watts did I mean some of these people are not the brightest tools in the shed now are they all right let's jump down below and take a look let's go on a little road trip now this is the area they're searching Van Dever Road in County Road 105. It's got the little pink house there. But they actually have they actually have a road that's there now. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the road. This is the pink house behind the reporter. There is the mailboxes and this is actually Van Dever Road but as you can see they are still finishing it and of course now it's finished now I don't know how long ago this picture was taken from Google Maps but I hope it was not as recent as Susan Morphew has gone missing so I'm thinking this is definitely the site and I've been trying to cam in there and get nosy and trying to see the name of the construction site but I'm going to dig into that a little deeper but I need to dig into Noel and the other one that's on the GoFundMe page so this is the area where the police are searching he's standing right about here Yep, there's the road that comes out. It looks like they're on this side of the street. And as you can see now, there's a road here. So the reporter is right about here. Because when you come back down to the road, you can see that it's under construction on the road view. So this is Van Dever. Like I said, the reporter is right about here they're filming this way there's the pink house you know kind of like on an angle like this 
I wonder how long ago this road was filled in. That's a scary thought. I don't know what is in the water in Colorado, but all of you single women or married women, if you think your husband is acting up, you better look into it. Okay, I have been looking for Trevor Noel and a Joseph, but I can I can find them, but I'm not sure if this is the correct them. But after a few articles, it sounds like Trevor is on Susan's side. So maybe one of Susan's sister or brother's kids. Let's get back into the map real quick. On the video where they're looking for Suzanne Morphew, if you notice, it's a red barn. Here's the mailbox. Excuse me, mister. And then right past that barn, you see the white fence. And then they are directly behind it. Oh, he just zoomed in for me. So they are right back here. So here is the red barn. There's the white fence right here. So it looks like they are right about here. Now, I'm not saying I am 1000% because there is a house here, but to me, it looks like they are set up right on this property. Alright, let's see this video real quick. Let me just back it up a tad. Alright, so Van Dever Road, County Road 105. There's a little windmill. I want to get back to where, there we go, there's the red barn, the white picket fence, and then back there, here goes that rude man again, so back here, there's the picket fence, yep, okay, here is the little barn, right here. There is the white fence, and it looks like they are right back through here. If you guys think I'm wrong, please let me know. Make sure all of you drop your comments below. My gut tells me that we'll probably see a news conference, and I truly pray for Suzanne Morphew and that somehow she is somewhere alive. If anyone has any links on Travis Knoll or Joseph Broadford, please email me. I will drop the email below in the description. After a little further research, the property right here showing on the screen is the house before they demolished the house and started to build the new house. So that is the house that used to be there. And that's an aerial view. And now the construction site looks like this. And to the right of this picture with the white top, you can see that is the red barn. So they cleared the land, the old house, that was owned by a Josephine G. Yakic. And the address 6962 County Road 105, Salida, Colorado. So that is the old owners. I'm not sure if the children own it or what, but they said that they had nothing to do with the disappearance of Suzanne and Morphew. Here is a paper I found on BLM Landscaping LLC. 26040 Cal Carson Road, Arcadia, Indiana. And that was the property in Indiana that I showed you that I have been informed that it has been sold, but I can't find anything on that. 
here though it has members it has two members Kyle Combray the principal and Barry Morphew so I don't know if Kyle is the friend but I ended up calling the business phone number and this is the message that they left So as we know, the police were out at the property. Today was day three. Susan Morphy remains missing as the Chaffee County Sheriff's Office wrapped up day three. Search at the residential construction site east of Salida. The FBI and CBI assisted their search for more clues. Investigators have since been digging through dirt and concrete for clues they plan to continue digging on Sunday no one has been arrested and investigators are still labeling this missing person's investigation and then here we have the sheriff's office says while they search multiple locations on the property they did not make any connection to Suzanne's case they also did not release details about the search they add the property owner was fully cooperative and not connected to the case. Someone has the key piece of information in this case that will help us locate Suzanne. And I'm asking our community members to continue to use the tip line to provide any information no matter how inconsensual the tip may seem, said Sheriff John Spez Spezzi. Investigators do not have plans to search for Susan on Monday, tomorrow, Memorial Day. A media briefing will also not be held on Monday. Friends and family are offering 200000 reward for information that leads to Morphe's safe return. Anyone with tips is asked to call the dedicated tip line. And you know what I'm going to say. I will drop that number below in the description. And with that, guys, it is a wrap. I have heard about the mistresses, and I think her name is Gentile, or a few of them. I'm not going to speculate, and I'm not even going to go there until it's no longer a speculation, and it is factual information. Hey, that kind of rhymes. All right, guys, and with that, it, I pray for Suzanne Morphew's safe return. But as it gets into the second week is over, I don't know where she could be. But I do not think that Barry Morphew, if he had anything to do with it, that he would be stupid enough to put her at a construction site. And I want to thank you all for coming in. And thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer. And subscribe. Everyone stay safe from COVID-19 and have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant.